Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, I've been, even though I've had videos released, okay, there's been my series and all that sort of stuff, I actually have been offline for a little bit, um, trying to sort of get myself back into an alignment. Now, what's actually happened here? I think my tablecloth has moved slightly. So let's just move this table sort of into position. It does feel like I've lost some table space here. And that seems to happen when everything sort of seems to come forward. So let's just move everything slightly back. So I just wanted to talk about feeling out of sorts. I've done a week full study of the um, Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle. Done a few different spreads, um, just sort of really challenged myself in regards to the Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle. Beautiful deck, but man, it is not something that you can work with full time. It really does, you do need to, if you're, especially when you're doing work for yourself. Um, it's really important that you actually take a break. So I've taken a bit of a break from the Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle. And yesterday I picked up the Romantic Tarot. And I wanted to sort of dive back into it, but not with the book and not with traditional meanings to a degree, but looking at the each um, card and describing what I'm actually seeing. So here I see the fool. Okay, and he's got he's standing on one foot. He's in a pink suit. He's got a flower bouquet that's sort of upside down on his head. He's got a um, top hat in one hand with his hand on the hip. He's got a cane hanging over it. Um, he seems to be on some sort of platform or something like that, and there's a lot of birds hanging around. So sort of describing the card and what I see. So that's what I've sort of done, gone through and written up what I actually see of the card. And knowing that um, it could be about feeling a little unbalanced, he's um, starting a new, maybe a sense of um, fun and laughter, maybe taking a risk. Um, all these things sort of come into mind when I start sort of looking at the card. And so that's what I was doing, going through and having a look at the colours. You know, we see that he's, you know, his main colour is pink. He's wearing pink suit. So we're talking about a sense of love and romance. And maybe the love and romance is actually a little upside, upside down with the flower bouquet on his head. So maybe things in regards to love and romance are that um, his heart is that he's, this could be a new beginning in his journey, but he needs to maybe take Maybe he's taking a lot of risks and he needs to be more cautious in regards to the relationship. So going through and sort of doing that, and I'll leave the link down below on my blog. So that's what I've sort of started with in regards to that um, aspect, going through, having a look at each card and deciding for myself, you know, that he's hanging around. He's chained to the situation. There's a chain here. And I know that sounds very um, devil oriented type in the meaning, but the, this is a very different um, hanged man than a Rider Waite Smith tarot. And we're thinking in the context of relationships. So that's what I did. So, yeah, I'll leave the link down below and you can read my thoughts um, on these cards. So the other thing I grew yesterday, sorry, I guess that was, I got my groceries, which I'd ordered and got delivered, so that was really cool. And I actually got um, some Sharpies. So let's just pull out the three main colours that I used yesterday. I have got some black ones too, which I want to use, but I used this seed yesterday. So I want to show you what I actually did. So some of you may have seen, I would have posted on Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, is I actually um, edged these decks. Now, may not be perfect, 
but it does sort of give the deck a different feel. So I do want to go through and do a few more decks. I do sort of take a bit of time. Um, sort of feel quite sticky still, so I still need to be a little bit careful. Sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. So I've done this one as well. This is the so that's the silver witchcraft with silver, the bronze with the um, Maori tattoo, and for the supernatural tarot, I actually used the gold, which I thought went really really well with it, as you can see by the colour. I think that looks really cool. So I'm really pleased with these three, and so that's going. That's my first three that I did a lot yesterday. So I was quite pleased with that. Now I do have black, which I'm going to. So I will do um, a few more, a few more. Now just using the fine pens, it seems to work really well. I don't know how many decks I'll end up doing. Maybe three for each color. Don't know. Yeah, the um, gold seems to be still quite sticky, so it might take another day or so. Because the weather's much cooler too, so they're not drying as quickly. I mean, they're dry, but I think they could be drier. Look at them. Oh, I think they just look at the shine on that. Look at that with the um, light. Oh yeah, look at the colour in that. Really pleased. It really just made. Um, a bit of a difference to the um, card. I don't know if you can really see the, the silver there, but it does look heaps better with the sil with the silver witchcraft having that sort of silvery look to it. I mean, I could have gone, I could have got blues and green and red and all that sort of stuff, which I do want to get because there are some decks that will have those colours, but I just wanted to sort of start with. I'm really pleased with that gold, didn't it look amazing with the supernatural tarot? I think it just gives it a different look. So yeah, I'm just going to wait in for those to sort of dry. So I just wanted a bit of a catch up with what's been going on, the feeling out of sorts, not really um, doing anything. And I know there's the um, small deck series that I've sort of been doing, there are, is the um, reflections videos with the echoes of nature and of course you get my weekly um, readings that I do each week um, and there may have been some other videos um, uploaded of course over the course of the few days uh, over the last week or so and um, even though I physically haven't been uploading any more video you know too many videos or anything over the weekend and that and i sort of really took some time out i just wanted to sort of catch up with what's been going on now, i did find the uncover your past lives going through those things was a bit of a um a bit of a bit much so with those that know that um Things are moving in new directions in my life. So I'm just buying a few little bits and pieces for my daughter at the moment. Um, I'm rambling. You don't need to know all about that stuff. Anyway, because it's not related to tarot or anything like that. Anyway, so just wanted to sort of catch you up with what's been going on with my um, study. And now that I'm sort of moving on to the um, romantic tarot. So, yeah, don't forget to check the links down below, check the links on my channel, like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.